Our big city guest is a little too fast on the draw, isn't he? Yes, we're talking about The Bachelor, by the way. Fancy a drink? I found a note and a key in Father's house, signed V.O. Were you the one who granted him access to a factory cellar? So you found it. I hope you had enough sense not to mention it to my father, also a V.O., who happens to own the factory, all its cellars, and all its workers. Yes, I'm glad I went to you first. You rebelled against your father? How did it happen? My dear Artemy, I appreciate that you're a straightforward man, so I'll be honest with you. Your people, or rather what's left of them, the whole community called the Kin, they all but belong to my family. To my father, the Kin are a commodity, the workforce for the Bull Enterprise. Father told me it's more like slavery. Oh, I quite agree. Well, you should know that I don't condone my esteemed father's methods, and I will rule the Bull Enterprise one day. As an insightful and assiduous owner, I would like to create a more productive and efficient foundation for our industrial empire. Do you understand? I do. I respect young Vlad quite a bit. I would like to revive the kin and its dignity. I'm fond of your traditions. They're unusual, almost miraculous. I don't believe in mysticism, but one has to accept the obvious facts. So I chose to give your father an opportunity to study some of them. And what exactly was he doing there? I can't say for sure. I've been to the place a few times, but never had an opportunity to scrutinize your father's work. I think he was combining unusual ingredients, making organic mixtures of some sort. He had a fascinating theory about natural elements and how they intertwine. A universal synthesis hypothesis. Oh, that's a fun line to say. Universal synthesis hypothesis. Universal synthesis hypothesis. Yeah, you mean the lines. Ogimsky's son, Vlad Jr., had granted my father access to a secret room below one of the factory buildings. I feel it will become my new home. This house has been defiled. I, won't, I don't want to live in a place where his blood was spilled. But leaving empty-handed doesn't sound like a good idea either. I think that was about our father's home, where we just took all the loot from it. Yeah. We've done a really good amount of this stuff today, haven't we? Like, this is a lot. Still more to do. Can we... Can we trade, please? The counter's too big for me to trade with you. You know, I don't have to trade herbs. Like, I could just straight up buy stuff. I probably should. Do I have... Twi yeah, I have twi right on me. So this will stack... Coffee would be a good idea. It's always a good idea. Pemmican's good too. Things are just going to get more expensive. I'm just going to buy it all. I'm not sure if I should eat the pemmican just yet. Oh yeah, I was going to drink water, but then I realized I don't want to generate an empty bottle because it might not fit my inventory. Okay, well I'm very close to our father's little hideout. I think it'd be a good idea to go there, if nothing else, to dump off items. And then... Hmm... I want to go speak with Vlad. To see if they can open up the termitary. That would be nice. Yeah. Okay. Uh, uh. Straight this way? Yes? 
Hope that's not a wall right there that I see. Sun's going down. Oh, I have a vial of blood. If I hear the earth speak to me, I should stop. here. Shit. Hello? I don't see the- Whoa. What are you doing down here? This joint won't break. It's made of metal. Sticky. I didn't touch anything. Oh, an old friend of mine, I see. I'm not leaving. You got that? I got it, I got it. Are you catching rats or something? Why are you yelling at me? Old man and I, we used to do a lot of stuff here. I even figured out how to crystallize blue salt. Made extracts myself. You think I was just helping him? I know a lot of stuff. What is that thing on the table then? Did you make it all by yourself? Don't need to be nasty. I, yeah, I kind of, I kind of read that line as if it wasn't nasty, but it ended with, hmm. Oh, something just clicked with me. The message mentioning, uh, I'm disturbed about how your keys keep going missing, and they gave them another copy father was giving the keys to the kids. Obviously unbeknownst to young Vlad, they didn't want them to know, so they just said that they were stolen. But they are giving them to the kids. So there's no point asking how they got in. I mean, I bet they have a key. Mind your manners. What is that thing? It's a mixer. Old man used to make medicine here. Like tinctures, I think he called it. Extracts from all kinds of gross stuff. So you know how to operate it? For some reason, neither of them works. Can you fix them? And I'll... I'll do anything. Just don't make me go. <laughs> I can say, All right, you little house imp. <laughs> Is that affectionate? Mm, uh, let's see. Perhaps I can fix them. Father's contraption is out of order. I'll need a chunk of metal scrap and a good spring to fix it. Oh, I might have those. Metal scrap and the spring. Hell yeah. Holy crap. Their murderer is a step demon. A shabnak addict. I That'll do it. Let's do it. Duh. Okay. Tumblr human. Um. Mm hmm. I hear you now. Speak, but waste no breath. I remember you, Tumblr toy. Used to pretend you were alive when I was little. Now, he would have said, this place is our true home. One can work here. Even though I've never been here before. You can sleep here. The 
this is a good hideout. The door has a strong lock, and not many people know about this lair. You can perform operations here, and of course, make medicines. Without being disturbed by anyone. Live here, son. Live here and continue our work. This place is yours now. Here you can do anything. Here you can do anything. That's exactly what he would have said. The Olympic works, Golden Hands. Now let's review what it's for. Remember Olmers? So I don't... This is my childhood toy. I guess I picked it up. It's a little bit confusing because I would expect to see like an animation or, you know, like a cutscene of picking it up or something. But I just fixed it and then instantly, boom, there it is. But, um, yeah, childhood toy. It seems rather lifelike for a toy, to be honest. Those eyes are very realistic. But this is an interesting way of teaching me about things I already know. I mean, I guess I don't actually know how to make tinctures. I left when I was young. I probably didn't, didn't learn it by that point. Um, remember Olmers? Of course. It's a tincture made from herbs. Correct. Tinctures are the foundation of every treatment. The steppe has graced us with its wondrous herbs. Twire, the queen of plants. Swevery, ashen swish, white whip. Tell me, what's so good about them? They can uncover the symptoms of a disease. Correct. They reveal the symptoms of a disease and improve immunity. How would you make a tincture? Mm, I don't know. Uh, I need to combine any two different herbs. Uh, this way a link will form. Anente. Clear water and two different herbs. You can find both here. Look in the cabinet. Make a single Olmar for a start. Bekara, this place is well stocked. You've always been thrifty, old man. What... Uh, what just happened? What time is it? Oh, I think this is like timeless. I can't open the map or anything. Yeah, okay, I don't think I need to worry about time right now. Which is good. Thank God. Trying to like learn something while I'm like sprinting around the lab throwing herbs together. <laughs> that would be very stressful. Okay. Hmm. I can relax. That's good. I'm glad they put this in here. So I'm supposed to get stuff from here. That's everything I need. Morphine matches. Monomycinum. Lowers infection, fixes the blood layer. Different medicines, but I'm not going to be using that, I don't think. I'm going to be using herbs, plus water. Black twire, blood twire, brown twire. <clears throat> so there's the fresh water. Looks like it doesn't allow me to brew it if it's not going to result in something. Does it... It doesn't just tell me straight up what it is. Ooh, this is a good time to write things down. So, black and brown twire equals what? Zork tincture. According to the description for the Zork tincture, it touches... That's not spelled right. It touches blood. The blood layer. Black and... Oh, that'd be another black and brown. That's what I just did, right? 
Yes, that was black and brown. Let's try black and blood. Black and blood makes medral, which touches nerves. You did black and brown, black and blood. Are there any other combinations to make? Oh, I did black and blood, but I haven't done brown and blood, right? Yeah, brown and blood. Twire equals. Yas. Yas, which touches bones. So those are the three layers. So those are probably the three, I don't know, foundational tinctures, I would guess. Should I make more? Three of each. The contraption in the lair can be used to produce herbal tinctures. Ah. Hi. Will you teach me all this stuff? Mixing the herbs, choosing the right ones, all that. Father taught me when I was your age, so why not? Big sister. <clears throat> Our mom has some sort of wicked disease, doctor. Could you give my little sister something to keep her safe? She's a frail one. This September is truly foul. Just don't let your mother get close to her while she's sick. Our place is cramped. We can't make her sleep in the street, can we? Let's take a look at your sister. What did that just do? Wait, what did that just do? It looked like a brick wall or something? I don't see it. Huh. Prophylaxis. Oh, this is teaching me to, to use the tinctures, I see. <clears throat> Recommendations administer an immunity booster. Yeah, their immunity is quite low. It's right here. It could be all the way up here. Status in danger. Hmm, just like the name. Um, one of the names on the list, it says that that, that one with a sigil that I couldn't read was in danger. I wonder if that means they need medical care. It's just any one of these. Recommendations. You did all you could. That's it? Was that the right one? Ugh. Good. Now let's get down to curing people. What always comes first? We need to determine which layer hides the sickness. Correct again, uh, but you are forgetting something. Pain. Pain is our great ally. It reminds us we're still alive. It drives us to action. However, when a patient is in unbearable pain, we cannot uncover which layer has come out of balance. Of course, we must keep the pain in check. You're better off without preparing ulmers that relieve pain. Uh, that knowledge is taboo. Stick to morphine and you'll be fine. Any medicine is fine if it lets you avoid making cuts. Okay, I'll st stick to morphine. 
Now where did that go? I don't see where they're appearing. Ooh, this is an interesting interface. Blood, nerves, and bone. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> Infected. Diagnosis unknown, but patient is in pain. Pain maxed out. Infection almost maxed out. So we give them morphine. They still have a lot of pain. But, but what? It's time for the most important part. Do you remember what a mete is? <clears> the, <throat> uh, hmm, remind me. A body is governed by three layers. Whatever illness grips the body turns this harmony into a conflict between them and thus kills. Look inside a body and you shall see. These layers are called mete. So which parts of the body do they refer to? In different times, different people have named different parts. Don't waste your time with a clinical approach. Folk medicine requires a different worldview. Why? I told you time and again that triangular plots ruin imagination. I also told you that our ancestors perceived the world as a single whole and treasured its many links and connections. Respect the clarity of thought they possessed. What is the most important part in your knowledge of the layers? Mm. Knowing the exact nature of an illness is not necessary for healing? A Affecting the correct layer, however, can bring a patient back to normal. How do the Olmars and different herbs correspond to these layers? Oh, yeah, I'm just thinking about the different layers. Like one, the, the Yas, I think, was white. That's probably the bone, right? And then the red one must be blood, and then the other one nerves. Mm, yeah, you can link them to colors for mnemonics. White, yellow, rusty. Let's say you're making an Olmar from two herbs. How do you know which color you will get? Uh, how am I supposed to remember all the properties of all the herbs? If memory fails you, there's nothing I can do to help. You're talking to yourself, remember? I got carried away. For a moment I thought I could really hear your voice, Father. You will learn the properties of herbs in due time. Only this way will you understand how things are connected. Grab more herbs and water. Prepare an Olmar of every color. Go in blind for now and the herbs will reveal themselves to you. Try again and again. This is how you'll learn to link things together. I have already made them. An Olimar of every color is linked to a specific layer. Tell me how. I can only reveal the symptoms on that layer. Correct. However, there is a catch. What do you think it is? A single symptom may be connected to several layers at once? Yes. Your job is to eliminate all the wrong possibilities. Yet every single tincture I give the patients hurts them. That is so. You have to keep an eye out for pain levels. It's time to act, son. Uncover the symptoms. Determine which layer is out of balance. Do your best to use as few Ulmars as possible. You have everything you need. I'll be careful. I'm scared. I know this isn't really happening for real, pretty sure. Oh, there's more stuff in here now? I should have everything I need, though. <clears throat> mm. 
Okay. The pain is not, I guess, unbearable right now, so I won't give them any more painkiller, I suppose. I guess I should just start with just trying something. So orange is blood, white is bone. That one's kind of easy. And then yellowish is nerves. Let's start with bone. Oof, yeah, that raised their pain a lot. The skin dries. It's either bones or blood. Let me give them more painkiller. Either bones or blood. Well, I... Hmm. My goal is to eliminate all the wrong possibilities. So these tinctures don't actually cure, right? It just reveals the disease symptoms. Am I understanding that correctly? Because I'm just supposed to eliminate whichever one is wrong. So we just did bones, so then now I should do blood? Definitive. Administer a correct antibiotic. Or antibiotic. Okay, that's where the pills come into play. Okay, I understand. For some reason, I was thinking the tinctures would actually cure them, but no, it's just to figure out what's wrong with them. And I could give them a painkiller, but I don't need to? Should I? Just so they're not in so much pain? I mean, I guess not. Um, I'm trying to... I just want to make sure I understood what just happened. I did bones. That narrowed it down to either bones or blood. I did blood. That got me the end result. I don't entirely understand how this works, though. Looks like each thing that you choose... Yeah, like this, it does like this... That corner of the triangle, I guess? So it's a corner. I, f I feel like there's probably more to this than just this simple. But it's not really sinking in. I guess I just need to wait for more cases. Now you know which layer the illness is hiding on. It's time to administer antibiotics. Of which there are three kinds as well. That's true. I shouldn't give too many at once. Too big of a risk. Yes. You can only administer a single one. Antibiotics are harmful, as you know. You'll learn to make your own, but later. For now, you can use pills. There should be a stash around here somewhere. Choose the correct one. How am I supposed to know the correct one? <clears throat> now there's no room for mistakes left. Um, oh, I guess I already have the things in my inventory. Um... Oh, hey, the antibiotics have pills that correspond with the tinctures that correspond with the layers, bone, nerves, and blood. The problem was in the blood, right? So I should use blood? Yeah, it even says fixes the blood layer of the human body. Fixes the nerve layer, fixes the bone layer. Okay. Okay. Diagnosis, blood. I like that all the colors match. It's, it's very nice. Three minutes successful. You did all you could. Only a miracle can help now. See, that wasn't so hard. Soon you will remember everything. You'll make a great healer. A healer I'll be proud of. I'm so sorry you won't be around to see it, Father. That was very cool. That was a... Hold on, let me just make sure time did not pass. I don't think so. 
or certainly not as much time as I spent down there. That was a very nice way to flesh out more of the universe and teach me how to do something that's kind of complex and new. All while making sure you don't have to worry about consequences or time too much. That was very good. Well knows the kitten whose meat it has eaten. Hello? Anyone in there? Can you hear me? For a moment you just stood there. Feeling bad, maybe? The air is thick here in September. Breathe in too deep and you'll pass out. I was just remembering father. So, does it work now? The alembic? It does. What about the big one? Uh, I'll fix it too. Would you like me to look for scrap metal? What do you need to fix it? Cogs and stuff? Yeah, actually, that'd be great. Um, I'll need a special toolkit for it. Oh, you can find toolkits in shops, but rarely. But it's doable. But I don't think anyone's selling one now. But if I see one, I'll let you know. Hmm. Well, I haven't seen a single toolkit anywhere over these past few days, so if you find one, let me know. Okay, there's all the stuff we did, I think. By mixing water and herbs, I can make an immunity booster. Unsurprisingly, it boosts immunity. <laughs> Surprisingly, it also reveals symptoms of disease. <clears throat> Second contraption needs serious repair, requires a toolkit. Hmm, yeah. That's a toolkit. So I wonder what this thing is used to make. So I didn't actually make any of those things for real, I was just imagining things. When I use up a water bottle, does it use up the entire bottle and like get rid of even the empty bottle or does it just use the water and it gives me back the empty bottle? I'm not sure, but either way, All you uh, need to learn. either way, I need to stuff some stuff in here. I don't have room for all this. Bloody stuff can definitely go here. Um, I'll figure this all out off camera. Just dumped some stuff in there. And I also took everything that was in there. There's a cloth glove, but it had low durability and I've already got some on with high durability. Mm. Oh, I also got Yas Tincture Plus. It says particularly potent. So you can make particularly potent variations of normal tinctures somehow. Maybe one of the rare herbs or maybe with the other tool that I still need to fix. Also, Dragonfly Eye, what is this? An incredibly rare concoction made of twire berries. When consumed, it reveals several points of interest in the town. Mmm, so it's like a super twirine. Okay. Well, I don't think I want to use that today because I've already used twirine once. There can only be so many special points of interest, right? Plus, I probably don't even have time to go to all of them. Hmm. I'm going to put that in here. Man, if I have to carry all these tinctures around and antibiotics and stuff, I'm not going to have room for that. I need more space. Shall I brew some things? Oh, I can make some things that I couldn't even look at before. <clears throat> What? Wait, 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 does time pass while I'm brewing? Oh no, I think time passes while I'm brewing. Shit. What just happened? What did just happen? What, what could I add it to the map? Oh, I think it's this. Some evenings kids gather at the station. Yeah. Okay, so I can't 
doll making tinctures. Well, <clears throat> I have. Um, hmm. Let's not go with the names like Yas or Metrol. Let's just go with the layer. I think that makes things simpler. Nerves, bones, we need a blood one. Blood one? Was black and brown twire. Wait, do I have... Oh, I sold all my brown twire, didn't I? To the barman. Yes. Okay. Uh, we'll come back here. I don't think I have any reason to keep these herbs with me, really? Because I'm going to do all my brewing here. So let's just stash them. Mm, I get a bit more empty space, so... I'll keep the dragon... Uh, uh, no, actually, no. Let's leave that. Okay, I think that's good. Now, is there somewhere for me to sleep? Yeah, treasure, like, place to store stuff, somewhere to seep, sleep, somewhere to save. Oh, what is this? Tinkering bench. Hmm. I would like to fix my cloth mask. Take some thread and safety pin. Upgrade inventory, what? Do that, now. Make that happen. <laughs> Um, okay. I need thread and I don't know what that is. Cloth? I've never, I don't think I've ever seen that. I should add that here. I'll add a to-do. Got it. That is extremely high priority. Did I loot this? Oh no, that's to drink and stuff. Good, there's a source of water in here. And this is where I'll sleep. Man, am I running out of time, but I want to look at stuff like that. Like, sigils all over the brain. I'm not going to sleep, am I? How is my exhaustion? Um, hmm. Not great, but... I have coffee. I'll sleep when I'm dead, etc., etc. I don't have time. Let's eat a Kashik. And a pemmican. Yeah, that's good. Okay. Whew. I think this is a pretty good place to end the episode. So I hope you've enjoyed so far, and when I return, uh, I don't know, there's a lot to do. I'm going to do as much as I can, considering it's 6.19pm.